I'm Dr. John McDougall. I'm the founder and the director of the McDougall program. I take care of a lot of people who are worried about their bones. Their bones are getting too thin, they think. Well, you know, that's something that happens as people get older, is the bones become more fragile and they do break. And osteoporosis is a serious problem. I mean, people can die and often do from fractures when they're older. So you want to keep those bones strong. The way most people are diagnosed with having weak bones is by a bone mineral density test. That's where they uh, shoot photons through your bones and determine whether or not it's strong. Well, actually those photons are stopped by minerals in the bones. And people think that the minerals, like calcium in the bone, is where the bones get strength. That's not true. The bones get strength from the tissues in the bones. The minerals, like the calcium, it's just sitting there in the bones. It's just being stored. As a matter of fact, you have most of the storage of calcium in your bones when you're a woman during your reproductive years. I mean, after all, you have to supply minerals for that baby. And as a result, what happens is the body accumulates minerals and stores them in the bones. So your bone mineral density is thick. It's, uh, it's strong. It, uh, that bone mineral density test uh, indicates that you have high mineral bones when you're in your reproductive years. That's the way it's supposed to be. But what happens as a woman when you get to be 50 or 60 or 70? You're supposed to be having babies? I don't think so. Would the body store all this extra mineral? Doesn't make any sense, certainly wouldn't be efficient. So the body gets rid of this extra mineral that was being stored to grow a baby and nurse a baby. That's what's supposed to happen. So you get a bone mineral density test when you're a woman in your 50s, 60s, and 70s, you would expect the bone mineral density to be lower, it's supposed to be. But that doesn't necessarily reflect the strength of the bones. The strength of the bones, again, has to do with the tissue. Now the way you keep the bones strong is you exercise, that's important. Sunshine is crucial for a healthy body as well as healthy bones. But the primary issue here, again, is the diet. That's right, it's the Western diet. All kinds of things about the Western diet. The potassium, the sodium, the fibers, the phytates, the vitamins, the minerals, and so on. These things are all wrong for bone health when you eat a diet based upon meat and dairy products, even chicken and fish. The diet that is uh, based on vegetable products, starches, vegetables, and fruits, it's all right when it comes to bone health. One of the primary things that you miss when you switch to a vegetable-based diet is you miss all that animal protein and all that acid that's in the food. It's the acid that weakens the bone. That's right, when you eat a lot of acid, it's in the form of meat, chicken, fish, cheese. Cheese is very, very acidic. What happens is you take in this huge acid load, which the bones have to buffer, and in the process of buffering this acid, you lose the bone material. You essentially urinate the bones into the toilet and you get weak bones, and then you get fractures, and we call that osteoporosis. Now you know how to fix the problem. I'm Dr. John McDougall. Thank you for listening.